Alright, so this video was actually supposed to just be a pug run for, you know, the series, you know, DCO pug runs. But this turned out to be a feat video, so now it's one of those. Anyway guys, this is Darkblade XX of Dark Enforcers, aka Black Hawk Division Leader for DCO. What's good, guys? Alright, so I just queued up by myself, solo queue up. So I'm in here with whoever the game puts me in here with. And we got a feat, known as Don't Get Bit. Now this feat takes place within Halls of Hades, which is part of the T6 Amazon Fury Part 2. 2 DLC. Now, for this feat to pop, you and everyone else in your group must not get bit by Cerberus until the last fight. So pretty much you have to avoid him until you're ready to fight him. No one can ever get eaten alive, pretty much. One of the best ways of doing this, and it's highly, highly overlooked, I mean it's really, really over. I mean, come on now, you guys are probably cute into this. You see people dropping left and right because they just overlook this completely. I don't want to say only. I want to say the best way of making sure you don't get fit is to look at your mini-map. Cerberus is on the mini-map. You're going to see a skull pop up. That skull means there's something that can kill you. You can't defend yourself. And that's pretty much what he does. No matter what CR you ever become, you will not be able to defeat Cerberus in this raid until you're ready to actually fight him at the last part. That being said, at any CR, you could be CR 400. You are going to get eaten alive by Cerberus. Okay, there is no way to come in here and think you're going to fight him head on at a higher CR. So with that being said, you're going to have to use your mini map. Look at your mini map. Use it to stay alive. If you see him coming towards an area, you don't go in that area. You go the opposite direction or you go a diff totally different direction. You just go away. You just stay away from him. Also, there's pop-ups all the time on your screen in red text. Cerberus is heading towards blah 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 blah. Now, as long as you know which room is which, it's real easy to avoid those rooms. If you know which room is which, you also know how to get into those rooms, how many entrances and exits they have. So you know whether or not you need to be worried about him trying to come to your room to get to said room. It's really about just knowing this map and knowing his position on it. But if, like I said, if you look to the very top right of my screen, there is my mini-map. If I don't see him anywhere on that thing, I really don't care where he's at. At the same time, a pop-up will pop up saying, Cerberus is headed towards this room, or Cerberus is headed towards that room. As long as you're not going to that room, you should never meet up with him. So, look at those two things. Like I said, a lot of people just don't look at their mini-map. They just run ahead and only look at the screen. You need to be looking at your mini-map if you're going to get this feat. Now, like I said, this is really not about what CR you are or how strong you are, because you can mess this up at any CR. So I'm not worried about that. I don't care what CR is. This is just for people who want to get this feat. You need to be aware of the area, aware of the environment. Be sure to always keep your eye on the mini-map, even when you're fighting ads. We're fighting these ads right now, right? Keep your eye on the mini-map, because the Cerberus starts coming up towards you while you're fighting these ads. You need to abandon the ads and leave the area. Forget them. Forget them. Be ready to just stop fighting at a moment's notice so that you can live, so that you can leave the area, so that you can live. Nobody wants to be dog chow, okay? Especially if this is the feat you're trying to get. So as you can see, this is a 13 minute video. Well, about to be actually 14 minute video, but like I said. There we go. Cerberus is headed towards the Shrine of Hades. That means that now that's a place we need to avoid. Now we don't know exactly where he's at, we just know he's headed there. He, he headed there in a number of ways. Looking at your mini-map now is the best way to know which way he's going to be going. Alright, now see the mini-map? He's already headed towards there. He just has to turn that quarter and he's already inside the Shrine of Hades. So there's not too much to worry about anymore. We're good. He's going to remain in that room until there's another pop-up saying that he's headed towards this way or that way. So as long as he doesn't see anybody in the corridors connecting to the rooms, but you'll actually have to have a line of sight, he won't be leaving those rooms until something pops up. So you're good and free enough to move around. Like I said, keep your eye on the mini-map non-stop. Because trust me, the second you take your eye out of the mini-map is loosely the second where you're about to get eaten. 
Also, keep your eyes up for those pop-ups. Like I said, the red text will tell you where he's headed. As long as you're not headed there too, you should be good to go. Alright, and I think that's about all the tips I can give you. Besides just saying, stick with the group. Stick with the group. Now, it doesn't matter how many times you wipe at certain boss fights or wipe during ads. As long as your group's not getting eaten by Cerberus, you will get the feed. Alright. Of course, of course, you actually have to beat Cerberus, too. But, for the most part, it doesn't matter who kills you as long as you don't get eaten. <laughs> Hell, even at the last fight, you can die 50 times. As long as you finally beat him, the feed will pop as long as you in your group didn't get eaten by him prior. So just keep that in mind. But let me give you a couple tips. Okay, for this room, a lot of people mess it up. A lot of people mess this up. Okay, do you see right there the Forge Spirit? If you get close to him, you aggravate him. What you want to do is just chill around the sides of the room. Okay, now, as you guys can see, I am a tank. I am a tank. I'm not doing a thing. And you're not supposed to. Okay, so there's another tank in the group. What you're going to do is you're just going to come to this room and practically just drop your controller and let your rest of your group handle it. See, what you're actually going to do is you're going to let the troll stun the ads so that the ads can't move, and then you're going to let the group just kill the ads until the Forge Master comes up. Now that the Forge Master is up, everybody can actually walk around the room. Okay, so let me repeat that. When you first come into this room, everyone stands along the sides of the wall. Touch the walls, never leave the walls. The troll stuns the adds, then people attack the adds from a distance, and you just keep doing that until the Forge Master comes. Now, once again, everybody, tank included, no one leaves the walls until the Forge Master is in the room. Now you're free to walk anywhere you want inside this little area. Okay? Now, whenever you see those spinning hammers roll out of them, do not rely on your healer to be able to heal within them, because he's getting hit with them too. So if he's stunned, and you're stunned, then who's healing? Because we're all stunned. Roll out of them. Don't rely on someone else to heal you through that. Alright? Roll out of them. After that, just wait for the smiths. Have your tank pull all the adds to him. Have your healers healing him while he does that. And you should be able to beat this pretty easy. If need be, have the troll stun those smiths to come into the room. Rinse and repeat. And there, look, forged in battle. You got that feat. Okay, once again, keep your eyes on the minimap. Now, this is kind of tough. This is kind of the tarp part. But let's talk about this, because this does happen. You'll be in that room fighting the forge master, and then in red text it says, Cerberus is heading towards the furnace. You were, you're in the furnace. How do you get out of the furnace if he's heading there? Matter of fact, you look at the doorway and he's right there at the gate, just waiting for the gate to get torn down so he can run in there and kill everybody. These are the breaks. <laughs> Pretty much what you're going to want to do is right as soon as the Forge Master drops. And this this, this is pretty much just, you're, you're, you're all going to die. Someone's going to fuck it up. I, I, I highly, highly think that no one's going to get this right. But this is what you do. As soon as the Forge Master drops, you'll have a split second. Go to your minimap, warp to rally. You need to get out of there ASAP. Don't think about running. Use warp to rally. ASAP. ASAP. And you should be able to get out of there before you get eaten. And you, hopefully your whole group does the same thing. But yeah, I can't tell you how many times that has happened to me. And hey, look, there's Share the Load. Once again, this is a hard feat to get to as well. When you come to this room and you see all those blocks, don't kill any ads. Take the blocks where they have to go, and then the item shows up. All right? And you get a feat for it. You don't have to pick up the item, but you get a feat for making it pop up. All right? So look, we're getting feats, which is pretty good. It's nice to see their community can do this type of thing. Okay, now for this feat, I like to stand in the corner, actually, and tank her all the way, yeah, like over here. Just because that circle right there, when you're at that level, that circle will do pretty much one-shots. So I like to pull her all the way over to the corner, just to keep her away from the group. Now, I've, I've done my part. I've tried to pull her away from the group. If somebody walks over there, I can't really help you about that part. The way I see it, if I got her put over to me and you're over there too, then you, you really want it to die. But, you know, at least I tried. I pulled her away so that you guys have walking room. Pretty much, I did everything I possibly could. 
Also be aware of all the ads that are going to start coming into the room once the boss's health goes down a little bit. And be sure to pull them towards you. Yeah, kind of like that. There's usually about one or two ads that come in randomly, so watch out for it. Alright, we just beat that boss. Remember to keep your eyes on the mini map. Even keep your eyes on it during a boss fight. Because if you see Cerberus at one exit, you're going to want to be standing at the other exit as soon as you're able to leave. I mean, you need to really get out of dodge ASAP fast. Or use the warp to rally function. Keep that in mind, especially for this feat. Keep your eyes on that minimap, because we're actually about to see Cerberus in a couple seconds. On the minimap, at least. Okay, there he is on the minimap. He's headed towards the plaza. He can go up or down for that, but he's most likely going to be headed downwards. And he is. Okay, so here's a tip that not enough people know. Alright? If you already have the weapon of lore, of the item of lore, once you pick up the item of lore, the cloak, Cerberus is gone from the map. That means you are now free to walk about anywhere you want to, and you won't see him. Alright? So pretty much as soon as you see Cersei or Wonder Woman, you don't have to talk to them. But once they pop up, you're free to walk around. Keep that in mind. Alright, so they show up, you're now free to walk around. So if there's any rooms you want to go to, you can go ahead and do it. Once you're actually ready to fight Cerberus, talk to Cersei or Wonder Woman. And at that CR, I strongly suggest pulling Cerberus into a corner of the room. For instance, Wonder Woman and Cersei's were at the big, huge gate. I suggest pulling uh, Cerberus to one of the smaller gates. For instance, the one that he came into the room with during the cutscene. Keep him over there and keep him away from the group. That way your team can just attack him and you don't have to worry about, you know, taking too much damage. Also, whoever picks up the weapon of lore, Cerberus will not take any damage until you use the weapon on him. So how do you use the weapon? Well, the weapon of lore is now your weapon. So, use the triangle for ranged attacks, or use the square button for melee. Once you actually attack him with that, he will start taking damage. Don't worry, you don't have to keep spamming the weapon. Once one hits, all it takes for him to start actually getting hurt. And then after that, people can just use their regular attacks, and he'll take damage from those. Pretty much, you're just weakening him enough to the point where all of your attacks will actually start to hurt him. Alright, another tip is that cloak you picked up, everyone needs to be inside that cloak. Without it, you're pretty much taking like double damage, pretty much. Plus there's a lot of stuns and other effects that will hurt you a great deal worth of, well, pain if you're not inside that cloak. So keep that in mind. Alright, I hope this helps you out guys. There's defeat, the don't get bit. This is Darkblade XX, the Dark Enforcers, aka Blackhawk Division Leader for DCUO. Dark Enforcers, Darkness Rises.